is a bit more difficult, and and so we, we can talk about that later if we get time. But it looks like we're going with an unpause here, and we have the names switched to the right side. So Reza Hurrah. Gaming with eight, Ofero no with one, mm. and Ofero are coming off of a victory on the last round where they were able to get a pick, one for one pick here, and then they managed to push into a yard. So they, we might see something similar. Why, if it ain't, oh, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Yeah, it looks like uh, they will be having one man going to Ivy, seeing if he can get an early pick there. MSL with the auto sniper will be able to take down Crispy relatively easily. Wacky throwing that nade down, doing a bit of damage. No, actually none. Not doing any damage. He didn't really land near anyone. And it uh, looks like the T side are pretty much absolutely everywhere. They're probably getting ready for a bomb site A execute as they put down that smoke that's going to put PNX out of action for a bit. Or is it going to be a rotate toward bomb site B? Well, yes, it was a fake there. Going down the smokes, making the CTs uh, stay on their toes and uh, to keep them guessing. But it looks like they might be going towards bomb site B, and they are silently walking there. They don't want the uh, CT side to uh, catch wind of that movement as they slowly and uh, eagerly make their way towards the B bomb site. We do have one terrorist all the way back at T spawn. Trying to see if he can catch any stragglers. M MSL is uh, holding a pretty deep position there on the upper bomb site. And will Fairscott be able to uh, pick him off early on? That'll be a good start for their bomb site B push. It's an op against auto sniper matchup here. Fairscott is going to throw that. Actually, he's going to throw that flash and flash himself. MSL is going to be way too fast. Shoots him down. He didn't have a lot of HP left on him as well. Caden will take down Madman. It's not looking so good for 0 for 0 this round. MSL looking at the wrong direction at the wrong time as Quiz picking up that op. Will he be able to get. The uh, shots onto him. It's uh, two on four right now, and uh, still the bomb is down. Goodness me, he does have one CT in very, very close proximity. Proximity, sorry. Not enough time oh though, no. as uh, Quick Quiz will be able to get at least one kill before his death. But dropping that up, that's going to hurt them economically indeed. Yeah. Did he die after time then? I'm not sure if he died after time now. Before. Either way, nine to one and. Ofero having a bit of a struggle there. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hope for them. They're able to make another pick on Ali because that's where they got the last place started. And Kadian there, you know, just trying to blow away some, some feet. As mm. per usual, that's what he does. He's going to need straight away there, as well, yeah. That he knows how to play that spot. It's a very, very crucial role. And Nila, you know, he's been the guardian, the gateway, the gatekeeper of Ali for quite some time. And Kadian repositioning straight away. Quite smart because he's already shown them with that first shot and the connection that he got. That they're, not, they're already discouraged from going this, this route. But they are smarter than that because they're actually cycling back around. This could work out quite well. It's a good smoke or a pick going on. But Kadian. Oh, bang, oh. headshot as Kadian gets the double kill. Oh, my goodness, Kadian. Wow, wow, wow. Really shutting them down. Not giving them any chances whatsoever. That's uh, some really nice play there by Kadian. That boost didn't really work for them. It worked for them last time, but this time it, uh, it failed miserably. Mm, well, this time they had Kadian with the op waiting for them and Ivy. And the last man standing here is Crispy. And, uh, I guess he's going to have to try and survive at least for 40 seconds and save that AK-47 or perhaps do the unthinkable and uh, win this round with, a, with an ace. Let's see what Crispy's going to do. Sorry, with an ace? Yeah, with an ace. It would be an ace if he got all four. No, he's just going to be chilling there in the toilets. It's a good place to hide. Crispy, last man standing at throw four rope. He's got CT surrounding him in every single direction, and uh, he's going to have a little toilet break. He's going to miss his shots and be shot down by nil relatively easily. We've got a bit of a spoiler for you here. The other match has ended, and Hellraisers was the team that qualified. Titan has actually lost against Hellraisers, and I'm sure that's going to shock a lot of people. Hellraisers are going to be going through. Titan will be playing the winner of this game. It might be a uh, Titan versus Reason gaming match. that would be very interesting to see, or perhaps a Titan versus 0 for 0 uh, rematch. I wonder what it would be. We've got Reason, Kadian here. Uh, upper B site, PNX doing a great job with the support of his teammates. Shutting down that push into bomb flight 8. And there's an eco round here by the terrorists. We don't expect much. However, it's looking increasingly unlikely as we uh, go through the game that they'll be able to get a string of rounds um, before the end of this half. 
and it's going to put a lot of pressure on them coming into the second half of this game. Now you have to pretty much play flawless CT play against Reason Gaming. Nice addresses push here by Neil. Take down Crispy Quick Stop. Behind enemy lines at the moment. Counter Shot down by EX. I was ready for him. The bomb was down in uh, Bombsite A. So they knew the ter one terrorist or the final terrorist will be uh, lurking around there somewhere. But 11 to 1 for Reason Gaming. Not a lot of hope for Ofero at this point. I mean, even with two rounds, it's still good. I mean, this is not the 1.6 train. This is not, you know, the, the situation where you're high-fiving your teammates just because you've got three rounds on the T side and you're happy. That's not how this goes anymore. So they're going for a quick outside play, and they're just, they are just designed to just go for it. No waiting around. Getting the picks is a three-on-three three now, but they're going to have problems coming in from Connector. It better be smoked. Oh, it's not quite smoked. There is the smoke, and that's really important, forcing him himself to come closer. And still, he has an angle, though, and that is really bad for them. And they hold the line. They never gave it up. They always kept this line held, and despite the, the frags that were coming in from Ofero, they were not able to breach the bomb site as they had intended to do at... 12 to 1 is now the score for Reason Gaming, who are just absolutely smashing 0 in this match on train now, this best of one in this group, Group C. So things not going so well. So well, it's Group C, isn't it? Yep, it's okay, Group good. C. Okay, good. Just, just double check it there. <laughs> but the, uh, yeah. It's, it's interesting to see one thing, though, that Reason Gaming, they don't have like a star player at the moment. They've all got pretty much the same score 14 or 13 kills or 12 kills. So. Every single one of them is actually playing really, really well. I mean, we've had triple kills from every single member of the team. You know, MSL, PN, XKD, even um, EXR. I mean, and, and that's, that's a really, really good kind of sign for Reason Gaming. If you have solid players on every single position, it, it means that you can really go far. And uh, even though they lost against Hellraiser, th there's not much wrong with that because Hellraiser were able to beat Titan. So Reason Gaming at the moment looking pretty strong. Uh, they are playing a CT side on D-Train, but in terms of score-wise, it doesn't look like they're being carried by anyone. But Crispy here with an op, he's going to have two CTs in front of him. He'll miss that shot. He's very, very s close to them. He's going to play a bit of mind games here. He's going to try and back away. Get that no-scope on EXR. Oh, yeah, I don't think he has uh, any idea that there's another CT right behind him. And now it's three on one. He's going to be holding that angle. Misses that shot. Goodness me, how is that even possible? Misses the second. Maybe he should go back to his no-scope. This is more successful for him, but he will get that shot on MSL. I don't know what MSL was doing with that P250. It's one on two with 18 seconds left on the clock. I think it's better if the CTs just back away. You don't want to lose the round simply because you tried to get the kill. It's most likely going to be 12 to 2, but 0 for 0. Missing that. Oh, Crispy. Crispy might actually lose his AWP if he's not careful. Watch out, Crispy. Crispy chicken. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. It's on the ladder. No. That was good. I swear, that was going to be the most awkward ace oh, I've yeah, ever seen yeah. in my life. But he didn't get the last couple of kills. He I had think, so I many think opportunities to do it. He well. had a lot of opportunities to make some shots, so sadly. But uh, that was that would have been if I think S was sitting in his shoes there. I think there's a reason for this because the, uh, the, yeah. the team up for overall. Uh, it's not a gun that Crispy's been practicing no, so much no, lately. No, no, no. Not it's, indeed. It's quite clearly this man. Veska. Oh, I wonder what that means. It's he, probably a Swedish word. He's going to, to Ali. A good decision not to go Ali, but still. Yeah, that was a perfect camera angle. Did you see that? It just yeah. got the bullets like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, we have a, a who can push here into bombsite B. MSL is going to be ready for them. He throws that smoke, gets his M4 out, and then just does a crap load of damage. But Quicks has been finally able to take him. It's taken him four rounds to uh, figure out how to hurt MSL. That smoke is an important smoke. We should have seen it earlier. Gonna throw Kadian off the game. Faisca holding up the uh, rear with the AWP. Interesting choice, huh? Would expect him to be on upper, trying to see if he can pick anybody into the site. Or coming in from bomb site A. But uh, they're just gonna keep throwing loads of smokes and uh, actually give time for the CTs to hold their positions, which is not the greatest idea. Quicks is gonna be here. Will he be able to defend the flank of the terrorist side? It's all on face. Uh, Quicks here. Sorry, we'll get flashed. Forced to back away, but Faisca's gonna be here to support him with his AWP. And Fesk is going to hold that position. ESL will take down Crispy Chicken. PNX will take down Quick. Fesk will be shot down by Kadian all the way from upper B. And that's why you need those smokes. And that's why you have to move fast after those smokes. Yes, but 14 to 1. That's the thing, isn't it? They got completely just stuck. Hogged down. They just got stuck in this corridor. They had a great smoke going they down there. They should have pushed in. Good smoke 
um, covering this area. They they had this line to kind of, you know hide behind the smokes, get the get the bomb planted there, but they just they just couldn't move forwards. And you, you got to be quick, you got to be fast, and and we, weren't, we just weren't seeing that there. Yeah, well, it's the beginning of the second half here. If they lose this round, they're definitely going to have to lose the game. The bomb is planted here by Nil in the perfect place, as we mentioned before. The unwall bangable little barrel PNX will get a kill on Madman as well. It's uh, all falling apart for the CT side here. They're getting completely demolished by Reason Gaming, and they're not even losing a man. As Crispy is the last man standing, he'll be uh, dispatched off by KD, and it's 15 to 1. Next round, the match point. Worst situation you can really put yourself in. And uh, they're going to go for oh, Neil there with a the P90. He knows they're, well, they're for sure they're going to go for an armor buy. There's no doubt about it. But Crispy actually going for the Nova. Look at this man. He stared deep into his eyes. Scumbag P90 buy. <laughs> you can see the uh, the focus in his eyes. Neil with the P90. The P90 start. Time for the Nilla cam. The and this is how you push into Ivy. This is how you push into Ivy. You throw the smoke to the left and then you just go through. If you see someone, you kill him. You have to play with a bit of confidence. Wacky will get a headshot on PNX. EXR takes down Wacky. There's two men left. It's all up to Crispy Chicken and Face Cut. Crispy Chicken with an over shotgun. Will he show us some magic with that magical piece of weaponry here? Crispy. With an Where's the model for the gun? <laughs> <laughs> it's invisible. It's invisible. Oh my god, this is next generation technology. Invisible Nova. Oh! He doesn't yeah. have a lot of HP. Oh, he's gonna get shot down by the P90 star himself in there. And the dreams of 0 for 0 who uh, lose 16, 16 to 1 against Reason Gaming. It even hurts to say that. It's a relatively another. 16 to 1! <laughs> it's painful. It's another uh, relatively lackluster game there by uh, 0 for 0. They tried the best. They did a pretty, they did a good job. I mean, bear, yeah, bearing in mind, bearing in mind the situation they were put in, bearing in mind the played as a as a T side, they had some one or two good rounds. There is that little kind of flair that would that would really get them to the next level. It's just practice, 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 practice from now on. I think in large, I mean, they they needed a tra uh, they needed a dust too. They needed a an inferno or a mirage. They didn't I need a. I train. also think this team overall oh oh, need an entry fragger. They need somebody. Who has the balls just to go in and uh, get those uh, early frags and entry frags? They, I mean, the thing with them is, I have a feeling they get bogged down too easily. I mean, mm -hmm. there's a lot of situations where, as T's, and as even uh, even if when they play as CTs, they just kind of stay in their positions and they're they're very worried. They don't want to move. Um, and we w we should and and it only works. These aggressive kind of pushes only work when they do it oh. together in unison. And look at this: Titan and Reason Gaming are going to be playing a match. The next match that is going to decide who goes through. Reason Gaming have the possibility to eliminate Titan from the tournament. Just let that sink in for a moment because the Reason Gaming we just saw were playing pretty darn well. Titan, they cannot falter at all. You know, we 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 know Titan are good enough to do it. We know they're by you know they, they are by you know they're good enough to do it. They can do it. But it's best of one. You just never know, and that could be a reality. We could see the Danes defeating. <laughs> One of the best, arguably the best oy French oy. side. That's well. uh, that's uh, very very interesting indeed. But I uh, hope you guys have enjoyed the two games that we have casted for you today. We're gonna have a quick break, and after later on this evening, we'll be doing the Group D games. And uh, hopefully, you'll be with us. Tell all your friends about this stream. It is the most handsome stream, as Dan uh, yeah. pointed out. And I'm sure you guys agree. There's no doubt about that. But do tweet me at dr Avela, Tweet DDK. Follow DDK, and also tweet face it at face it. We would uh, really appreciate your tweets, and uh, we'd love to to to, to read them. So like if you're loving the stream, send us mm. some love hearts. Sorry. No, I was to say we like to interact with you. We do. I do. Yeah. I do. I'm I've just got my phone in. Even if it's I'm just, just waiting for you, I'm waiting for your say message. Say bad things. Even if you they can say, say nasty bad things. things. You can say good. nasty things. It's okay. I, we've got thick skin. I'll cry at night, but we've got thick skin. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, hope we're enjoying, you're enjoying the cast. Again, while you wait, play some CS. Don't just watch CS, play some CS. Go to Face It uh, and play the Face It platform at www.faceit.com. You just go on, you press play, and you're playing great CS. It's a win-win it's a situation for everyone. I have a one question for you uh, yes. before we go to break. So last match is going to be reason, before we go to the next group, reason versus Titan. Mm -hmm. What is your prediction for this? 
I think Titan are going to win. It's going to be a close game, but Titan will win this game. Depending on the map, though, it depends yeah. on the map. What map do you think will happen? Because they, of course, they are going to be eliminating maps. What do you I think, think is most think, likely? I think, and then what the I think Reason want to try and play Mirage. Titan don't want to play Mirage. Titan are probably going to play DDoS two or Inferno. Reason are going to veto in DDoS yeah. two, so it'll probably yes. be Inferno. Yeah, yeah. I, I actually completely agree with that. I, I, I no Mirage for Titan, no Mirage for uh, no DDoS two for. For a reason, yeah, I think I think uh, the thing is a reason could pull off us too, but I think Titans, the so Titan, good. that's the best. I think that's one of their best maps right now with Kenny S. So and Smiths as well. Mm, he's, he's very good on that map. So it's going to be Inferno. So I, yeah, I, I'm gonna. S I, I don't know anything can happen on Inferno. So this is this is gonna be a tight one. So you've heard our thoughts. Uh, enjoy watching that match, and we'll catch you later for the next group. We'll see you guys later. Take care.